band balancing is an important part of maximizing the frequency space that we have available for Wi-Fi. Early, there were only 2.4 gigahertz radios for access points and clients alike. No problem. Then we added 5 gigahertz, but there were 5 gigahertz only clients and 2.4 gigahertz only clients. And if they had an access point available in their frequency range, everything was okay for both clients. But there were people that didn't want to swap the PCMCA cards in and out, so we started developing dual band cards. Some of the dual band chipsets preferred 5 gigahertz, which was okay because they would have more frequency space to use as clients. Some still preferred 2.4 gigahertz, which put them back in with all the legacy 2.4 only traffic and all the non-802.11 sources of noise that exist in 2.4 gigahertz, even though they were 5 gigahertz capable, just because their chipset was designed to prefer 2.4 gigahertz. This was not okay. So what's the solution if you have to deal with a combination of newer clients and older clients, as well as some legacy clients that are 2.4 gigahertz only? The solution is band balancing. With band balancing, you can determine what percentage of stations you're going to leave in 2.4 gigahertz, whether they're 2.4 only or dual band capable. The 2.4 only obviously will never be able to be balanced over into 5 gigahertz. But those that are dual band capable that still prefer 2.4 gigahertz can be balanced over to 5 gigahertz. And based on the percentages you've chosen, the default being 25% remaining in 2.4 and 75% going into 5 gigahertz, you're going to be able to provide your clients a better experience due to the 5 gigahertz frequency having more channels to use and fewer sources of interference. What does this do for the legacy stations that still preferred 2.4 gigahertz? Well, the way it works is we kind of ignore some of their uh, attempts to connect in 2.4, so they exhaust their 2.4 channel selections, then start looking at 5 gigahertz, and you'll start seeing those stations that were sticking in 2.4 migrating over to 5 gigahertz giving those users and devices a much better experience as well, simply by managing the bands that the stations are allowed to use.